Hey, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to be talking all about hydro turbines. If you're interested in renewable energy and how we can harness the power of water to generate electricity, then you're in the right place. We'll be diving into how hydro turbines work, their benefits, and why they're an important part of the renewable energy landscape. So sit back, relax, and let's learn all about hydro turbines. What is a hydro turbine? It's a mechanical device that uses the power of flowing water to turn a shaft, which in turn spins a generator to produce electricity. It's like nature's own energy converter, taking the force of water and transforming it into a useful form of power. Hydro turbines play a crucial role in electricity generation, especially when it comes to renewable energy. Unlike other sources like coal or natural gas, hydroelectric power doesn't release harmful emissions into the atmosphere. It's a clean and sustainable way to produce electricity. Basic components of a hydro turbine system. The role of a water source. Every hydro turbine system needs a water source. It could be a river, a dammed reservoir, or even a small stream. As long as there's a reliable and abundant supply of flowing water, the turbine can do its thing. Intake structure and water diversion. Before the water can reach the turbine, it needs to go through some sort of intake structure that diverts the flow towards the turbine. This can be a complex network of gates, channels, and screens to control the water's path and ensure only the right amount gets through. Penstock, conduit for water flow. It's basically a fancy word for a pipe or a conduit that carries the water from the intake to the turbine housing. Turbine housing and runner. The housing is like a fancy shelter that holds the turbine's working parts. And the runner is the part that actually gets hit by the water and starts spinning. It's like a water-powered athlete doing all the hard work to generate electricity. Governing mechanism for control. A hydro turbine system needs a governing mechanism to control its speed and output. This can be as simple as manually adjusting the flow of water, or as sophisticated as using computer systems to optimize performance. Two major types of hydro turbines. Impulse turbines, Pelton wheel. Imagine a jet of water hitting a series of specially designed buckets on a spinning wheel. That's an impulse turbine, also known as a Pelton wheel. The force of the water hitting those buckets causes the wheel to turn, generating electricity. Reaction turbines, Francis turbine. Unlike impulse turbines, reaction turbines are fully submerged in water. As the water flows over and around the turbine blades, it creates a reaction force that spins the turbine. The most common type of reaction turbine is the Francis turbine, named after its inventor. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more contents.